and welcome to the Cookie Couture, where flavor and design collide. Today I'm going to share with you a creative idea to use your decorative cookies to make Christmas cards. Okay, in this tutorial you will do two things, a decorative cookie and a Christmas card. This is going to be super super nice, so um, I hope that you like this video and let's get started. For this project you will need your favorite Christmas cookie, royal icing flooding consistency in natural color, edible markers, a Christmas card printing, markers, scissors, a cellophane bag, and tape. Please click the link above to see a very good recipe to make this truck with three cookie. I prepare royal icing in flooding consistency in white, so I'm going to cover all my cookie with it. Very good. I am going to pop up the bubbles, shake my cookie. Um, I don't think so. There's any bubbles, and I'm gonna let it dry completely and we'll continue with the next part very well our cookie is completely dry and now i am ready to decorate it i'm going to use edible markers as you remember i love to decorate cookies with edible markers so this is going to be a super fun and easy idea and first i am going to use a fine tip marker in red to outline all the cookie and then I'm going to cover all the areas, okay? So let's get started. Okay, the cookie is ready and as you can see it's super easy and your kids can have a lot of fun making them. I am going to leave you some other pictures of the same cookie that I did many years ago that I used different techniques that I make it with royal icing and you can see how it looks so you can have a different idea. Very well, I am going to use Canva.com to make my Christmas card and I'm going to use a flyer template. I'm going to look around for one that I like. I like this one. Okay, I'm going to choose that one. I think so that one will work perfect for the Christmas card. Very well. I am going to move the Merry Christmas sign to the lower part of my card and then I'm going to erase all the things that I don't need. If you want, you can leave those spaces and you can add some other things that you might like, like your last name. Now, I'm going to make that one a little smaller 
and I'm gonna move it and tilt it a little bit and move it to the lower part of the flyer because I'm going to print it and then I'm gonna fold it in half to make a Christmas card. And you have to remember that you need to leave a space big enough to put your cookie in there because later on you're going to trace your cookie on the flyer and then you're gonna cut out the space to put the cookie, okay? Okay, now my design is ready, so I'm gonna print it in a cardstock, and if you want, you can take it to a professional place to print it, so it looks like a better quality, and then we're gonna continue with the other. This is an eight and a half by 11 and a half, and I think so this is the size that is gonna work better instead of this one that it's smaller this is just like a letter size so i am going to fold it in half now that i put my cookie in the cellophane bag i'm going to use it to trace it where i want to put it because um, i am going to follow the silhouette not of the cookie but the cookie in the bag So now I'm going to cut it. Very good. So now we're ready to glue our cookie. What do you think so? Do you like it? I think so that it's super super cute and you can give a little cookie and the Christmas card at the same time and also I like that here you can personalize all what you want to write on your Christmas card and I think so that it's super super good idea. Okay. I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape on the back of the cookie so it stays there I'm going to cut all the white edges so it looks prettier and I'm ready to put it on my envelope. Merry Christmas! Bye-bye!